Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy. We back. We drifting again. My hair's a bit clingy. You can sort of see the weather's so shit today. And I think it's about to start pissing down rain. But we we still out here. We still thrifting. Still on that grind. I've sort of been slacking recently. And so I just thought I'd get back into it. Um, fuck. Um, and yeah, we are approaching the first drift as we speak. So, um, yeah, I just want to also thank, thanks. I also want to thank everyone for the support through my Instagram recently and through the videos. They're, yeah, they're kind of entertaining to make, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll pick it up when uh, I am in the first drift. I'm really fucking tired and I'm fucking starving. So, yeah. Peace. There you go, this was up. So, I don't know if you guys figured this out already, but um, most of the clips in this video were recorded over um, two separate days. Because um, you know, sometimes I don't find like a whole bunch in one day. So I just be like, oh, next time I go, I'll just continue with the episode on top there. If that made any sense. <sighs> I'm so unfit. But yeah. Um, yeah, I just want to say that. No. Pick it up when I get to the next thrift. Peace. Is that gonna stay? Okay, yeah. What's up? This is like the part where like I um I go what I found. Um so I got like eight items today. Yeah, eight. So yeah, one of the best hauls I've had in a while, actually. So um, yeah, let's get into it. First up. I got this Georgia, University of Georgia football, American football team. Yep, it's from, it's Nike, I believe it's early 2000s, size large. It's at the front, it's the back, and I got it for $10.30 from a boutique store. Um, yeah. Um, next up, I got this weird, I got like this weird shirt. It's a castle sport tee. I got a whole bunch of weird shirts, but like, I just thought it, like, I need, I need like stuff to sell. It's quite thin. Um, so yeah, there's the front, nothing on the back. I got this for five dollars, and it's an extra large. But yeah, this is actually kind of cool. I sort of like the sped up shit, all the simple stuff. Right, next up, this is cool. I like this. Um, it's an I'm Lost in Hong Kong shirt, like a Hong Kong, um, what's it called, souvenir shirt. Um, pretty sick graphic. It's got like a bunch of Hong Kong cities. Um, is it like a day? Nope. Um, but yeah, it's the front, the back is a size 2XL, and I got it for five bucks. Um, alright, next up, got another one, this time, it's white, 
So it's pretty much the exact same, exact same thing except in white and blue. So I got like brand new with tags. Um, it's actually got a different tag than the other one. Um, yeah, this one was six bucks. It's the front, it's plain. It's back again. Mm, it's just like a side, just two XL as well. Oh, this one's made by a different company. It's the exact same design. It's just made by different companies. Interesting. Both still sick. <laughs> this one. Um, it's not like a stripper tee. I don't know. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, but like, it's got like a woman dancing on the poles, and then like two women on the side here and here. Um, what does it say actually? Uh, support your local poll workers. Yes, do that. I don't know if you're over 18. Um, La Las Vegas, Nevada. I got this for like eight dollars, I think, from a boutique store, and it's a size medium. So it's actually quite sick. The front, back, and yes, support your local poll workers if you are over 18. I'm getting a bunch of notifications. Alright, next one. This one is a bootleg hard rock cafe in Beijing. Um, it's a size large, five dollars. Um, yeah, I mean usually the for hard rock ones, the logo is actually further up, like it's more up in the chest. This one's more like sort of the stomach area. But yeah, pretty cool. I'll sell it for cheap make a few books. Uh, well there's the front, there's the back, and five dollars. And wait, hold on, is that something? Never mind. Um now next up is a so those are all the t-shirts done. Um now the button ups. There's only one but so there is we got this YSL Saint Laurent sort of Button up, it's like a like a worker's blue. Oh, there's a few stains. On it. Is that stains or those just Yeah, there's a few stains on it. Up on the collar as well. I'm gonna have to soak it, I think. But um yeah, this one's a size 41, so I think it's like an XL. But you know, there's the tag, it's got the little hit on the the YSL hit on the pocket right there. Uh, this was actually at a little church hop shop. Um, I nearly almost, I almost didn't go to that one because it was pretty out of my route. But I decided, fuck it. So yeah, there's the front, there's the back. So it's four dollars. Right, and now the best find of the day, in my opinion, New Zealand and Australian classic. Um, we had this. Um, vintage Billabong jacket. Um, I got this for fifteen dollars. It's a size large. I'm pretty sure there's a hood there. There is. Ah, it's got a hood. Packable hood. Ooh, what the flying fuck? Yeah. Um, but yeah, here's the front. The little Billabong logo on the breast. Um, here it is at the back with the big. The long logo spit out, pretty sick. Size medium, and I bought this one for fifteen dollars. It's got a weird tag. I haven't seen this tag before. Hold on. What the fuck? No, that's chill. Oh, it's got a name on it. Parish. I have your jacket. Buy it off me. No. <laughs> but you know, it's got like a weird sort of tag on it. Um. A world globe there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's legit. Oh, yeah, it's definitely legit, but like, yeah. It'll be awkward if it's not, and then I'll fucking dumbass. But yeah, that's the best find of the day. Uh, yeah, also, um, I got like these things, these spates lanyards. Um, I got, I had, well, I had 17 of them, I've got. Three left. Well, I've got five left, but two sold today. 
Um, I'm selling them for $10 each. I bought them for a dollar each. And I'm pretty sure I've made over 100 bucks on them. They're quite sick. Um, I kept one for myself actually, so they're quite, they're quite keen or quite, you know, pretty, pretty sick. You should buy them. I've got three left. I do not think they're going to last long. And, um, yeah. Have anything else? Oh, I bought these envelopes. Um, do I have anything else to show you? Oh, yes, hold on. I forgot. I also bought this thing in this episode, but you know, it's over the last couple of days, but you know. But yes, there's some Mighty Ducks. Um, it's sort of a zip up thing, it doesn't have a hood or anything, I feel like a collar, I got this for 13, no, 12.85 I believe, I can't remember, but, um, yeah, the front, the Mighty Ducks logo and spell out in the back, this is at least from 2005 or later, it's the back, I know that, because a little history lesson, um, Disney, so if you're a fan of Disney, you'd know that they have movies called Mighty Ducks 1, 2, whatever. So they decided to actually make an NHL team. So in 1992 or 3, they started up the team. And then they sold it in 2005. And because of the movies, um, Disney had the rights to the name and the logo. So now they're known as the Anaheim Ducks. So yeah, what all history lesson for you um yes yeah, so if you see anything with the that logo it's at least from 2005 unless they're making reprints now but if it's got like the official nhl tag then it's from 2005 or later right that's it anything else no lit Right, sweet ass. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. I cringe every time I say that, but um, yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, peace. <laughs> that was fucking weird. All right, bye.